Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to multiply fractions together, but when we get the result in this set of problems, we'll need to be able to simplify that result. And that's what we have to do for most problems in fractions. When we get the answer, we'll generally need to simplify it, and we always need to check and see if we need to simplify it. So let's say we have 1 3rd times 2 fourths. So this is a set of fractions. By now you should know that really all you care about is multiplying the top and multiplying the bottom. You do not care about any kind of common denominator when you're multiplying fractions. So you have 1 times 2, and on the bottom you have 3 times 4. 1 times 2 gives you 2, 3 times 4 gives you 12. So that's the answer, but we always check and see, can we simplify this? And we can because we know both of these are even. We can divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. 2 divided by 2 will be 1, 12 divided by 2 will be 6. And so the answer for this problem is 1 sixth. 1 sixth is exactly the same thing as 2 twelve, so both of them are correct, but you always want to try to get it simplified, um, so that's what you're always going to try to do. All right, so the next problem, what if we have 2 sixth times 1 fifth? We want to multiply these guys. All right, and so what we do, we multiply the tops, multiply the, the bottoms. 2 times 1 on the top, 6 times 5 on the bottom. 2 times 1 gives me 2, 6 times 5 gives me 30. So that's basically the answer, but I want to try to simplify it. Both of these are even numbers, so I divide by 2 on the top and 2 on the bottom. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 30 divided by 2, if you think about it, is actually 15. Because 15 times 2 is actually 30. And so the answer is 1 15th. So in all of these problems, we are going to end up needing to simplify the results. What if we have 1 fourth times 4 fifths? And again, we try to multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. And so 1 times 4 on the top, 4 times 5 on the bottom. So 1 times 4 gives us 4, 4 times 5 gives us 20. And that's basically the answer. And so, but on the top, we, can, we know we can divide by 4, and we can also divide the, the bottom by 4, um, because we know 4 times 5 is 20. And so on the top, we'll get 1. On the bottom, we'll get 5 when we do that division. Again, we'll get 1 fifth. All right. So cruising right along, just getting a little of extra practice. What if we have the fraction 6 sevenths times 1 sixth? Now, all up until now, I've been writing it down, multiplying in the top, multiplying in the bottom. Every, I've been writing it out and then doing the calculation. By now, you should know that all you have to do is take 6 times 1, and the top will give you 6. 7 times 6 will give you 42 in the bottom. So I'm not going to write this step every time. You know that you just multiply the tops and multiply the bottoms. So 642, that's the answer. We know that we can simplify this because we can divide the top by 6 and the bottom by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 42 divided by 6 is 7. And that's the final answer for that problem. All right, let's cruise along over to the other board here and do just three more, just to get a little extra practice. What if you have 2 thirds times 5 sixths? So again, multiply tops, multiply bottoms. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 6 is 18. So the answer is 10 18ths, but we always try to simplify. We know these are both even numbers, so we divide by 2, divide by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. So the answer is 5 ninths. That's fully simplified. Nothing else you can really do to that particular problem. 